So um, we're just going to go through a very brief um, summary of how we make our compost, which is uh, our main fertilizer in the garden. And the basic principles of compost making are that you need a mixture of a nitrogen source material and a carbon source material. There are other minerals and um, other ingredients that we do put in, but that's the basis of our compost heap. And we do it, we mix them initially by making a lasagna of, of the ingredients and pile them up uh, generally uh, one to two times a week when we have the ingredients available. When we have guests here, we have a lot of vegetables that come from the kitchen that have been used and they are they are all raw we have been getting some but a very small number of vegetables from the kitchen the team member who has been um, looking after the, the compost here uh, for the last couple of years has built this over the last mm, three weeks I'd say so uh, and this was going to be the last layer of this heap and then it will sit for at least a month and uh, then it will get turned over to here another month and then another turn back again so two turns so this heap will become beautiful compost in three months time well two months time now so i did open this up by using this fork and just just forking down to open this up because the the billions, billions of microbes, mainly bacteria, that do the job of breaking our compost down into usable compost are aerobic, not anaerobic. Aerobic means they have to, they are like us. We, they need to breathe. And so if it, once it gets too dense in there, then they die and then it, then it, it, it doesn't work as well. Now, in the process of doing this um, <clears throat> breaking down, it also heats up. And that is another of the processes that make beautiful compost. Now, the first layer I'm going to put on here uh, is a green layer. In other words, a nitrogen layer. And even though we have a few um, scraps from the kitchen, what we do have from our field is uh, leaves from various crops that we have uh, harvested and these are mainly cabbage leaves that um, uh, the outside leaves of the cabbage so I'm just going to put a layer of the green nitrogen material because underneath as you can see is a darker material which is more carbon based so we're going to go from nitrogen to carbon and then back to nitrogen again or, or a mineral We've put the, uh, the layer of uh, uh, leaves from the, uh, the vegetables that have been taken off. And I've also put uh, from one of the bins here some of the uh, chopped up vegetables from the kitchen. And uh, also uh, one of our team members has um, donated her uh, uh, kitchen um, compost bin to us. Uh, so I've put that on too. Now I've got almost finished also another layer of some weeds and soil and this is still a, a mixture of uh, nitrogen and, uh, and, and soil. It's good to have a bit of soil uh, in compost heaps so that <clears throat> it, uh, it helps. It's got a lot of microbes already in it and, and organic matter. So uh, this is a, it's a good combination of having the, uh, the green and, uh, and, and part green to, uh, to make the next layer. Because this layer we just put on is mainly nitrogen, now we have carbon. Now one of our best carbon sources is these egg trays that we get. They come in large boxes, that square, and um, they are perfect for our, uh, for our one of our carbon layers. Uh, now we're not getting quite so many as we normally do because we haven't got so many guests at the, at the moment. Over there also is our other carbon source, which is our straw. We also get, we have large bales of straw. I just lay them out there like this 
But these egg trays are also ideal because of the shape of them. Because they hold other things which we like. This is another layer and this is a mineral layer and this is this is rock dust. It is actually made it comes from Perthshire in Scotland and it is called remin as in remineralization. Now this rock dust is really a waste product because they uh, when they make um, road gravel from basalt um, the fines are sifted out and is used as a fertilizer. Now it's a long-term fertilizer, it'll take a long time for this to break down but it is as it slowly breaks down it releases uh, minerals like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus and potassium and, and, um, and other trace elements. So this is the start of this double layer of carbon and mineral. The other thing, the, the essential ingredient of a, uh, of a good compost heap, the uh, bacteria don't like working in a, a dry environment. Otherwise they've got, they get a bit thirsty. So it's important that anything dry like these cartons are uh, wet, wetted down and they, they, they do nicely wet down because they're a fairly soft cardboard. So I'm just doing that. It also wets the rock dust too. Now we've got that layer on and I also put uh, some of the, uh, the soil and weeds uh, back on, on top of that. Now we have another nitrogen source called manure. So this is uh, uh, caca de barca, as in cow manure. We, I do prefer caca de caballo, which is horse manure, and we are getting some horse manure next week. But uh, this tends to be a little bit lumpy, but it also contains some straw, so it's a really a mixture of, of uh, nitrogen and carbon. And there's no doubt about the nitrogen in, in, in cow manure. Um, you only have to uh, smell it to, to realize that there, uh, there is uh, nitrogen. And then we will put the last layer on, which will be straw. While you were away, I also just finished off putting on top of the cow manure uh, a thin layer of soil, basically. But the soil is something we have raked off to prepare a field for, uh, for a new crop and it has got small pieces of um, broken down manure in it um, and so it's a mixture of soil and manure and that will help to uh, uh, seal the manure and stop it from drying out under the straw. So our final layer is pure carbon. No nitrogen in this as you can see there's not a, a, a single green <coughs> part of this straw. Mind you if it was um, alfalfa hay, it would be green and would have quite a bit of nitrogen in it. Whoops, today. This is just a matter of spreading this out and then I will also wet it down. The microbes, the bacteria need moisture. The easiest layer. I have just finished watering the top of the heap, the straw, and that will also go down into the soil underneath the straw to keep the last, the, the other layer of manure nice and moist for the bacteria to start walk, working. So now the final addition is, this is our mypex, it's a, um, a polypropylene, unfortunately it is not natural but it does keep allows the rain the, to come in through the material and it uh, 
and it keeps the light out so if any uh, weed seeds um, decide to um, uh, blow in the wind here they don't uh, come into the heat. So what will happen the that last layer we have put on in the next few days will start heating up and uh, and in the process and, and the bacteria will multiply uh, in very very quickly and um, and so that last layer and that will go down into the the layer that it went on to so that all will break down and in um, about uh, about a month then it will be turned and the top of the heap here will become the bottom of the heap over there.